Welcome to Guitar Paradiso on Anthony's TV. That's Mick. That. That is a guy with a couple broken ribs. Thank you yeah. very much. Pete's got broken ribs. Yeah. Don't do that, kids. Don't go soft playing with your kids because it's gonna end in tears. I wasn't crying, mind you, but it's not nice to hear any of your body parts go snap. Snap. Yeah. Inside. It's like having a car crash. That noise when. when a bit like our jam. Bit like the jam just now, but that's not the. It's definitely not any of the equipment's fault, is it? Now. No, no, no. No. So there we are. What are we looking at? Black Star Artist Series amps. So Black Star, immense success story, as we all know. Launched uh, nearly ten years ago, nine years ago, um, and unusually for an amplifier brand. In fact, any brand in the MI world. You know, most of the stuff was made in the 50s and the 60s, and those are the brands that endure. So to come along and make such a massive entry into the market, Black Star has been phenomenally successful. Yeah, is it really ten, almost ten years, nine years, ten, oh, almost, almost ten, ten, years. ten years. I know you were in your 60s at the time. At that time, probably about 60. 61. Yeah, just about. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a good year. Yeah. Uh, so Black Star launched with a series of point-to-point uh, -point hand wired um, amps called Artisan. Artisan. And since then Purple. have. Um, really been very dominant in the lower to mid price range uh huge range of uh, digital amps um, recent years yeah the venue series valve amps um all in that kind of low to mid price bracket artist it's a new amp sort of bridges the gap really between those low to mid price amps and artisan um because they've been doing really well on sort of the uh, sort of digital side of it and yeah. you know this is their answer to yeah, and, and I guess of, a sort of get some tubes back a, into a response to what's happening in the market. Obviously, pedals yeah. are super popular. People exactly. like to have lots of analog pedals. So these are valve amps. Um, don't have a huge amount of gain built in, but break up nicely when you push them, and are designed to work really well with pedals. Yeah. So, fifteen, 15. watts, one by twelve. Thirty two, watts, two six L sixes. Yeah. Thirty watts, two by twelve, also two six L sixes. More headroom. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, a little bit bigger. Bigger power transformer, all that kind of thing, I would imagine. Yeah. So, um, yes, two channels. In fact, in fact, I have a little thing here which sits thing. on top of the amplifier. Exactly. And I can tell you, channel one is very simple. It has just a volume and a tone control. Mm -hmm. We'll do some uh, details so you can see. And um, that volume control, I think I'm right in saying, 
Hang on, I'm just going to test this. Because it's important to do these things, Pete. It is important to do these things, kids. Yeah. So, uh, there's just a the volume and a tone. Connect straight to the master volume. There's no other volume there, so the more you push it, the more overdrive you get, but it's not a huge amount of overdrive. Yeah. And it's voiced kind of with a fair bit of mid in it, which we'll do in a minute. Yeah. Channel 2 um, has more in the way of tone control on board. You've got bass, middle and treble and Black Star's IF, ISF, infinite shape function feature. Infinite shape a feature. US, an, an American flag and a British flag on one side yeah, yeah, on here. So global global anyway. tone control, yeah. crazy to use. So a bit more um, tone tweakery in Channel 2 and it's got a much less uh, mid push sound. It's a more, dare we say, Fender-y kind of sound. We dare say that. In fact, Peter, why don't you play and instead of me talking like a... And you, uh, shall I do a uh, telly or strat? We know a strat. Shall I do a strat? Do you mention the, the cabinet is made of a... Uh, oh yeah, it's... Um, birch. Birch ply. Lightweight. Um, so on quite a lot of uh, lower end mid to uh, lower end to mid price amps, you will find things like um, MDF cabs. This is a finger jointed birch ply. And it's nice and light, uh, yeah. and it, I personally think, if I'm allowed to express an opinion, you may, it, you may, you can. I express. like guitar amps made out of plywood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And cabinets. Yeah. I think it's the right sound for a yeah. guitar speaker. Anyway. Anyway, G right, chord. So, Mixed favorite G chord. Channel one. Clean sound comes. Oh yeah. I'm hearing a reverb there. <laughs> Maybe we should explain about the reverb. Nice. So all I did there was went um, went from like very low uh, gain, very high master. On channel one. On channel one. Yeah. All on channel one. Turn the tone down and the tone up, and then you heard the uh, reverb. It's got a vintage voice digital reverb. Yeah. So um, we've been over this many times, but for lots and lots of reasons, it makes sense to put digital reverb in mid price amps. Yeah. Because spring reverb. Yeah. It sounds spring great, but it's actually. It is something the, that can break very easily. Yeah, it's the cause for a lot of returns. And the way they um, program that chip these days. I think that's pretty good sounding reason. Sounds great. Yeah. yeah, nothing with that at yeah. all. Nice yeah. and warm. If you, it is a Vincent's toned one. Yeah, so, you if know, you're a just, spring just, reverb nut, then... Then you'll probably get a spring reverb and put yeah, next yeah, to it, yeah. if you want. But that's just next to money, isn't it? Right, so that was channel one. I'll just, I'll just play channel one again before he plays channel two and you'll hear the difference immediately. <laughs> I like that.
<laughs> um, there was a bit in that where uh, I managed to turn the master volume up instead of the reverb and nearly killed us all. But yeah, um, nice. That's a massive broad spectrum of tones. So what are you hearing? I was twiddling the knob, so I know what I was hearing. What were you hearing? Yeah, I was just hearing lovely tones. But I was hearing from one sort of from what were you turning? Because I, you know, because I can't see what you were doing. So, but it was kind of a, from a, a, a thinner kind of spanky kind of tone to a fat sort of nice rounded, uh, lovely reverb. Yeah, again, I was, I was just, yes, I was messing around with the reverb, but just exploring that kind of, the range of gain and compression in between having the, so on this one you've got another volume control. So okay. channel two has a separate volume yeah. control in addition to the master volume. So if you, you, if you push the gain and the master all the way, uh, the gain and the volume all the way up, have the master low, you get a really nice kind of... There was a crunchiness to it, wasn't it? Yeah. Kind of bite on the... When and you pick in, it's kind of a bite. Yeah, it should be it. should be good dynamics, plenty of compression, yeah. nice bit of vintage style overdrive. Conversely, master all the way up, volume down, gain kind of in the middle, and it's just really a lot of um, punch. Yeah, and there's and no pedals attack. at all. Yeah, yeah, we haven't gotten to pedals yet. Exactly. And I, so again, I'm going to express another opinion here. Go for it. Um, my knowledge of Black Star amps to date is that. Um, a lot of the amps are quite urgent sounding and have a really good rock tone and a really good response in that respect. This is the first one I've played that that really does that more mid scoopy fendery thing yeah. convincingly well. Yeah, but that's what they aim for, isn't it? It's yeah. more for the it's aimed more for the blues player and the sort of that sort of kind of. Actually, that's a that good that, just... that's a good point. So um, if you think about the rest of the Black Star range, it's not exclusively aimed at rock players, no. but. This is but definitely aimed at more of a kind of blues and roots you get a, inspired you know, you get player. Things and manufacturers tend to get pigeonholed within a kind of hmm. in one thing. And well, also, like, we're not it, just that. You know, if you put a load of gain in an amp, chances are people are going to use it. And there isn't a huge yeah. amount of gain in these amps. No, it's very clean. Uh, personally, I'm very happy about that because yeah. I, it just it responds. I can hear that it responds in the That's way. That's why I picked the Strat. Yeah. Because you, you, as you know, we like Strats. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. All right, so let's, um, why don't we hear a couple of pedals? What you got there, Okay, we've got an Andy Timmons, yeah. and I've got a boutique uh, analog man, king of tonnage. Ah, yes, uh, so interesting that he Tuesdays. mentions that it's a boutique pedal, because I guess this is Blackstar going, this is our mid-price boutique amp, right? Yeah, kind of. It's definitely and we can we, we are making a, uh, what, a, an amp that can take pedals really well as well, that's why we sort of... You know, so let's hear some pedals. All right, what should we hear? Uh, let's do the first, let's do the Andy Timmons. Okay. You know how that sounds. We've done it, we've used it before in other ramps, so let's see. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> Just to explain to the viewers what happened. I'm switching between channel one and channel two, and what you'll hear is how much more mid push there is in channel one. That was certainly more mid push. Oh. I'll, I'll keep playing. <laughs> That's a lot of tones Love from it, it, one amp. If you know anything about overdrive pedals and you've got lots of overdrive pedals, you know which that you probably have. <laughs> some work really well with more Fendery style amps. Yeah. You know, more mid scoop, not huge amount of mid, uh, mids, lots of bass and treble. Yeah. Stuff like tube screamers because it pushes the mid the mid range. Yeah. Um, and other pedals, a lot of distortion pedals, I think, can um, struggle in that environment because a lot of distortion pedals don't have a huge amount of mid-range yeah. so they can work Get in an amp got fizzy as well. that's got more... And that's more of a distortion pedal isn't it? The yeah, Timmons. so kind of you might think of it, I mean it's not exclusively Vox but it, but Vox is definitely a world where that the mids are very different than they are in, oh, yeah. in the Fender and, and Marshalls of course. Yeah. So having that option of one more mid pushed channel and one more mid scoop yeah. is great because yeah. immediately I'm, I'm there thinking Right, I'm playing rhythm, I've got quite a scoopy sound, and I'm going for a lead. 
And also, that's foot switchable. Yeah, because most people will go. Channels. I'll do me. I'll do me rhythms in uh, in channel one and use channel two for lead. Yeah. My brain's already the other way around here. Yeah. But it depends. You know, it depends. Or you can do whatever you like. Can I? I'd like to hear a telecast. You can do. We can do that. So what we discovered when we were just setting up. Um, not entirely sure how well this will come across on the video, but they are very much a similar voice. Yeah. The bigger cab of the 212, the 30, definitely gives it kind of extended bottom end, more headroom. Yeah. Um, the 112, it's still a good size 112 cab <coughs> actually. It's like a, a wide body 112, not like yeah. a really super compact. So there's a lot, still a lot of bottom end coming out of this. But mm -hmm. Anyway, let's, um, so. Telecaster into the 15. Yeah, and this is, this is channel one, and I hope, with my little Voxy brain on, I hope it's gonna sound. It's nice, isn't it? You like that. I can see he likes that. I can see it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot yeah. of mid-range there, but that's what's yeah. going to get you cut through. Yeah. Can I have a little bit of, um... Yeah, that might be too much, but... Push the level a little bit. Loud, but that's a telly sound that that works for me. Right, it's great. Channel two. Channel two. Do you want to keep that on, or yeah, just seen as seen as we're there. Okay, we're. There. It's really funny because again, in as in some of the other episodes of of uh, Guitar Parties of Hernandez and Stevie. Uh, I prefer the little, the lesser watts yeah. with 112. Yeah. And I do that again. Now, I, I personally, I think I prefer this sound. Yeah. Maybe it's because you're playing, or I don't know what it is. <laughs> but, but you know what I mean, though. I really like that sound. It's a cool sound. It's a yeah. very cool sound. Um. <laughs> Timmons on the same settings as we did on the other amp. Wow, that's cool, isn't it? For a 112 combo, there's a lot of bottom end coming out of that, and it's holding on to the kind of integrity of the sound. I, I'm personally not a fan of 15 watt combos because every 15 watt combo that I've had. Once you get it to that level, it yeah. starts to fart out and the speaker starts going in. That's yeah. great. Some people really love that sound. Yeah. That is a 15 watt combo I could work with. I don't think I've ever had a 15 watt combo. I've had 115 watt, 50 watt <laughs> combo. Right. So that was a quick blast on the telly. Yeah. There's something else we, we, we started as we, um, as we kicked off. I'm just going to switch a a couple of things around here. Uh, if you could... Is that that's yeah? Is that your lead? Yeah, that's my lead. That is your lead, isn't it? Okay, right. So you want to plug yourself in here so we can do some A/B testing. Here. Well, no, I just want to show you. Um, so this is Pete's three three five. So I've got on the floor here a, um, a big bloom pedal, which is the Dumble style pedal. So uh, and also a full tone plimsoll. So we're going to be. There's a little bit more gain than we had out of the King of Tone, not as much as the Angry Charlie, but so here's the here's the basic sound. Delay. Yeah, I got the delay on. Yeah. Turn that delay down a little bit.
That's not, isn't it? I just think that's, that's an really A good, sound. Yeah, and and, it, and it's not it's not completely ear bleedingly loud. Well, let's just hear the same sound in channel two, same pedal. So I think I know what to expect. <laughs> mistake better than the sing than the no. semitone <laughs> the semitone mistake anyway I, that's that's a great setup you don't is, need anything else than that that's a happy if you like that kind of sound because it is kind of that sort of uh, dumbly tone now isn't but it but i'll just say it's going from one end of the spectrum to a completely different sound yeah i mean I, i'll just say again that the way it holds on to the sort of clarity and the integrity of the note yeah is surprising because there's a lot of small amps that won't do that. Yeah. Or at least small power, because you need like a big power section and all the rest of it. Yeah. But I really, I, I really like it in that mid, in the more mid pushed channel, which, you know, once you stick a mid pushed pedal on, I mean. Yeah, a miss, mid it, pushed. Yeah. A bit more trouble going on. Turn the delay off just so you can hear it. Cool, so there we are. Um, Artist 15 and Artist 30. A couple other things to mention. There's a dual level effects loop, which means you can run like pedals or rack type gear. Uh, there is an emulated line out, mm -hmm. um, so you can plug straight into a board. Uh, and Celestian, Celestian V-type. V -type speakers now we quite like these the v-type speakers in the fender bass breaker amps yeah which you can go and watch yeah i hadn't heard them before that day and i just heard them again and that's now a hundred percent hit rate for me for the yeah. celestian v-type yeah. speaker. it must be like a vintage type voice speaker i would check the celestian the, website exactly uh, and check the links below on the amps with the pricing and so on and so forth and they are not for you to come try out but right now i would like to try a les paul into the uh 30 just oh. because See, and it would be really handy if we had this uh, Anderton's uh, Blues Master, Blues Master 58. 58 just sitting around. Yeah. Can I just add that before <laughs> another brick break? <laughs> oh, sh oh, Okay, thanks. Actually, this is... <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I, I hope that something just got bleeped there because Pete let out quite, a, quite an offensive sweary given that he's got a broke, two broken ribs. And, uh, yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. I just had this him, is lighter than I that one. I just handed him a nine pound Les Paul. Actually, this is lighter than that one. Eight point seven pounds, actually. Eight point seven pounds. Yeah, I think something. Okay. Like that. Ooh, that's a lot of volume. This neck is ridiculous on this guitar, isn't it? Wow. You just want to play blues on this guitar. You know what I mean? That's all I want to play. It is called a blues master. I know. I'm just going to remake the point that some overdrive pedals sound really good into a mid pushed amp and some less so. Yeah. So that mid the mid the mid push side of that. But that's really also a guitar thing. Really. Because that's suited. also yeah. is a, a guitar thing, isn't it? So.
Wow, lots of times. There is a little uh, sort of splitty thingy here. What? You like that? I, I'm sort of struck because you you come to a, you know, you come to a mid-price product, and you go, yep, I know what that's going to sound like, and then all of a sudden, that is, I'm surprised at how transparent that is. Transparent. Yeah, because yeah. that what it's done is it's made the Strat, uh, the Tele, and the Les Paul really sound, you know, like a Strat, very the Tele, and a Les Paul, like those guitars. It doesn't have this kind of some amps, you know. They tend to put a sort of blanket over the over the whole sound, and yeah. it, it just ends up homogenising everything. Yeah, that especially in that sounds like a, position, it's just well, this one here. Ace. Voiced without a doubt, voice. Um, you get a fairly good feeling about how well amps are going to work in bands. It's going to work just fine. Yeah, if you ask there's me. The, all the frequencies are there to, to really come out of that mix. Yeah, I have I mean, to say, Pete, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Yeah, yeah, I'm very impressed. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. Yeah, also like this, feel a bit like soft rubber. <laughs> I like that. It does. It really does. Feel it. Oh, it does. Yeah. Not nice, isn't it? And on that bombshell, I think we need to jam out. Let's do it. It's with the Black Stars, Artist 15 and 30. Yes. On the Anderton TV, Guitar Paradiso. See you soon. You're out right there.